you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. You really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I want to talk in this segment, and it began with an email that a listener sent to me. I don't actually have to read you the email, but uh, it began with an email that a listener sent to me. I'll read you the email, but uh, I could do this without the email because it's real simple. listener named Dwayne writes in and says, Hey, Tom, I know you already know this, but I like it when a chick admits... Listen to this. That prostitution is paying them to leave. Salon.com interviewed some real call girls to find out how accurate that new show, Secret Diary of a Call Girl, is. One of the chicks admitted as much. And then he uh, excerpted part of this uh, piece from Salon.com, the question referring to the character on this show, Secret Diary of a Call Girl, referring to the call girl, says, are your clients as attractive as some of Bell's? And the response was, yes. A great deal of my clients are attractive and highly intelligent, impeccably groomed. Well-traveled. She's talking about the guys who pay her to have sex with her. You would never guess they use the service, but they do. They see professional ladies not because they can't get a date, but because of variety and convenience, not to mention discretion. It's on their terms, and they like you to leave when they want you to leave. Basically, and this is the nub, Basically, you get paid to leave. Dwayne ends his email by saying, sounds just like divorce. Isn't that true? I mean, in reality, that's what it's all about. Women do not provide their sexual services for free, whether they are prostitutes or otherwise, whether they're official prostitutes or unofficial prostitutes. And in many cases, you have to pay. It's almost like a settlement. You have to pay women to get lost. Women assume they're going to be able to cling to you like lint. And if you want to get rid of them, you have to give them money. I can't tell you how many women expected to get money after I broke up with them, whether they were married to me or not. I mean, one woman just blatantly asked me for $150,000. I'm not making this up. I'm dead serious. I'm as serious as a heart attack, which is what I almost had when she asked me. Can you believe that? She said she needed $150,000 to buy a condo. And her attitude was, well, you know, we've been together now for almost three years. So, you know, you, 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 you can't just leave me with nothing. You're going to leave me with nothing. It's like, uh, darling, 
<laughs> uh, you have your, hopefully, your self-esteem intact. <laughs> hopefully, you have your uh, dignity intact. But once I give you $150,000, you may have $150,000, but you will have sold your dignity. And I'd be a moron for giving it to you. Oh, she threatened me with palimony, and she threatened me with, uh, you know, embarrassing me somehow. I don't know what she could say about me that I haven't already said about myself. And I'm sure if there was something, she would have already said it. But can you imagine that? I mean, I don't know how many of you have $150,000, but can you imagine being in a relationship with a chick and when it's over? By the way, most of the time was spent saying, no, I'm not buying your handbag. No, I'm not buying your Range Rover. No, I'm not buying houses so you can paint them and flip them. No, I, I, I'm not making this stuff up. This is the stuff she was all every day. It was like the beginning. Remember, remember when TV stations used to sign on in the morning? It was the beginning of a new broadcast day. Every morning I would wake up facing another day of requests or demands for something that cost money. And it was like having a 12-year-old teenage daughter. You had to keep saying, no, no, not giving you that. No, not buying that. No, not going to do that. No, not going to travel to that country. No, 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 no. But in essence, it's the same thing that the letter writer, Dwayne, is saying. That when you're done with a woman, you just want to be done with her. And as much as women like to talk about love, how many of them will go away quietly for money? Pay them to go away. It's like a settlement. Whether or not you're married to them, they want something out of the deal. They want the car they're driving. They want cash. They want the furniture the two of you bought together or maybe furniture that you own. Or other items. How many times have you broken up with a woman and she wants to take things from your house? She either tries to do it in a friendly way or she steals stuff from you. Women must be paid to go away. And that kind of explains prostitution. It's all right there on the table. A woman will have sex with you and go away if you will pay her the fee. Otherwise, they hang on you like a lead balloon. Does anybody have a comment about this? Do you think that uh, that women deserve to be paid when they're done? Do you think it makes sense? For some people, this might be a revelation. Have you ever thought about this? When women leave, they want money. Have you had a woman like that? I told you one woman wanted $150,000. She said she needed it to buy a condo. Why in the world should I be buying you a condo? Because you're moving out? Why don't you do what other women your age who make as little money as you do, do? They get apartments. Or they get an apartment with a roommate. Why should I be buying you a condominium? And, of course, the unspoken answer is because you've been having sex with me for the past few years. And therefore, you owe me. Am I all that far off here? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You are the voice of reason in this godforsaken world. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. Look at it, for God's sake. Do they mean to tell you that? 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Why do women think we should pay them to leave? They do, don't they? Sean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello. Hey, Dad. I got my balls back after I divorced that gal from Argentina. I told you about a year and a half ago that I was going to do it, and I did it. And it cost me $40,000 and $300 a month child support payment, but it's the best <laughs> investment I ever made. But well, what did I tell you? And it was that gal from Argentina. Which one? That was the girl I married from Argentina. Right, but I told you not to get married. 
Yes, you did. And I told you I was going to divorce her, and I did. Well, that's good. That's that part is good. And, of course, and, and, and it's the old joke, you know, of course, you know, why does divorce cost so much? Because it's worth it. Yes. And now you're getting more ass than a toilet seat, but uh, you had to pay her forty grand plus child support to get out. Yep, and I got the home. Well, that part is good. You got the home. I got all my toys. Got a girlfriend. You got are using couple. you are using <laughs> condoms. I hope. Sure. Out all the time. Actually, a gal I'm seeing is sick, so. That's what she told you. No, I know she is. You, you stuck your uh, hand up the plumbing there? What? Yeah, she tied up a couple of times, she told me. She got her children all married and gone. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> hey, can you take me out effing Colby Bryan style? Effing screaming orgasm with an effing shotgun blast? And let's, a see what, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Christine listening to our online stream in Spring Hill, Florida on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Hi Christine. <laughs> I am one of those rare women that agree with you. I am sick and tired. I've grown up with women around me saying, how much can I get from him? What is he worth? What does he have? And I have chosen not to have children. And I've chosen to find intelligent men that can keep up with me intellectually and physically. And this man was waiting. I dated him. He's a multimillionaire living in San Diego, California. I dated him for over a year and a half, and he kept on waiting for me to ask for a car, clothing, and everything. And I said, I'm here for you. What I want from you is what is between your ears, not what's in your wallet. Wow. How did you meet him, online or something? I mean, there you are in Spring Hill, Florida. No, I was in San Diego at the time. I see. And he, we met online, remarkably enough. Well, that's what I just said. Yes, and it was a wonderful relationship, but I got tired of telling him, no, I don't want that. No, I want your time. No, I don't want your money. And I'd had enough. And well, the reason, the re but the reason he believes that is because that's what 99% of all the other women want. Yes, unfortunately. They see, what's, what am I going to get out of it from the least amount of expense? I grew up with women like that, and I chose not to be like that. And I consistently kept on meeting men that were intellectually my equal, but physically and emotionally so crippled from these user nasty hoes that I just walk away time and time again from relationships because they're like, oh, well, you want this, and then I'll give you this. And I'm like, no, and you just point at their crotch laugh hysterically, and walk away. <laughs> Thank you so much, Christine. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. Exception to the rule, always calling in. Yes. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Why is it women think we should pay them to leave when it's time to go? Whether it's after one evening of sex or years of a relationship, why do women think that we owe them money and stuff? Joe on the Tom Likas show, hello. Tom, what yeah. goddamn committee of pussies decided that this was okay to do? How is this uh, allowed? How 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 is are we forced to pay women to put out? And then when they stop putting out and we should have an escape clause. Like, they failed the marriage. They failed the relationship, but we still have to pay? That doesn't work in business. I have had two women. I'll tell you this. I have had two women who I said, this is over. You have to go. These two women took over six months and did not leave. Un unbelievable. Not I right. had to. Let me tell you what I had to do. I, in each case, I had to make the appointment for the mover and, of course, pay the mover. 
And then I had to help them find apartments. In each case, I had to put down the deposit on the apartment and the first month's rent to get them out. When does it stop? When, when are the guys going to make this change? Is this parliament? Was this England? Well, you understand, this? This, this is a result of the law being you can't change the locks anymore. There was a time when you could take somebody's stuff and put it in a box outside the door and change the locks. That's not legal anymore. So the result is that women take full advantage of this by expecting some kind of compensation to leave. See, that's my point. That that has to be changed. It's not right. It's, it's just ridiculous that a woman could betray you or whatever, even if you get a divorce and it's her fault. It's a no-fault state here in California. So all of a sudden, you're left alone, but you have to write the check. Well, let me just say this. If, if it's my house, which it was in both cases for me, why shouldn't I be able to decide who stays and who goes? Without paying for it. <laughs> yes. I mean, you're at my house as long as we're getting along. When I tell you I'm done, it should be over. There shouldn't be any debating it. And if you don't leave, I should be able to put your stuff outside and change the locks. I don't see why I can't do that. Um, they should be paying you for the privilege of hanging out with you and your pad and your luxuries. And, and that's how it should be. They, they're done. They should be paying you back rent. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Hey, Tommy, can you blow me up and then maybe a shotgun blast at the, at the end of it? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Claire on the Tom Likas show. Hey Tom, um, I was just calling in to say I've been listening to you since I was three, and I'm eighteen now, and I totally agree with everything you say. Luckily, mom raised me right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> she had you tune in for one thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm feel very lucky for that. And I'm just, most of the girls I know are totally the girls you describe. <laughs> like, you're so spot on. I was just calling to let you know and thank you. Well, thank you. Uh huh. I'm helping to raise the children of America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you're doing a great job. <laughs> well, thank um, you. Can you blow me up? I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Caesar on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Caesar. All right, Dean, we'll go looking for Caesar, and we'll say hello here to Jeremy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Pop? Uh, it's going okay, sir. Right on. I, I can't uh, help but uh, get frustrated over this here uh, conversation because uh, I think it's a you know big crock. Um, actually, they should be paying us because where are we supposed to go get that poon at after they leave? You know, they should be making it up to me. It's bad enough that they leave all kinds of little uh, things around the house that will be found by the next chick you bang. Yeah, exactly. That that ruins it. That ruins it. Right. Kinds of messages and stuff that go through your phone, and then the other one finds it. Yeah, whose bathrobe is this? Whose brush is this? Yeah, you just got to, you know, trick out toes, got to go. Right. Can't be dealing with that anymore. But uh just had to say, I voice my opinion, I uh, completely agree with you on this. They should be paying us, and it's uh it's pretty much goes all down to that women's rights stuff. You know, they uh, you know, they want their rights, they want their equal opportunities, but as soon as they get kicked out of the house, they want all the stuff that you have. You know, all the stuff you've accumulated, stuff that they haven't even, you know, worked for. You know, the only way they work for it is on their knees or laying on their back. The stuff you've worked for. That's right. In some cases, all your life. Exactly. All right, uh, thank you, Jeremy, for the call. Here comes Brian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Long Love Dad. You are my drill instructor of love. I listen to you because you are like my Marine Corps drill instructor. If I tell you what to do, you do it. So when Tom Likes to speaks, I listen. Because everything you say is truth, brother. I'm 40 years old, never been married. I have one kid I pay child support for. That was my mistake. I didn't make that mistake until I was 35. I love the kid, hate the broad. When I was 18, my dad said, don't bring home any presents. I didn't know what he was talking about. 
He was saying, go get a chick pregnant. I go into the Marine Corps at 18. I see all these idiots marrying fat chicks. They suffer because we go overseas. We come back, some other dude banging his chick, and then he's paying for it. It's retarded. It's ridiculous. Money is always the common denominator. Money is always the common denominator. Women know it, and that's what we make, and that's what they want to take. I just broke up with a girlfriend. I got back with her. I broke up with her. I got back with her. Every time we broke up, she says, pay me this. Give me that. I want this. Give me back my money for that. I loaned you money for this. She remembered everything down to the decimal point. I said, I don't remember every time I took you out to dinner, I paid for this. But you remember every penny. But every time we're together, you're like, oh, baby, nothing matters. I love you. You're the greatest. Let's stay together forever. Let's get married and have kids. And when I say no, it's give me $1,846.28. That's retarded. But keep speaking, brother. Keep preaching. You're my drill instructor because you want me to do 500 push-ups tonight. <laughs> Thank you for that, Brian. Wow. Amazing. I remember I was living with a chick. This is true. I was living with a chick, and it, it, I was living in what used to be her place. And I remember, all I'm going to say, because there have been thousands of people who have done this, so you can't identify which one she is. She worked at one time as a gopher, what they call a PA or a production assistant, on Saturday Night Live. And one night she took me up to see Saturday Night Live from backstage. And there I was backstage with the production assistant, and we were going in all the dressing rooms and everything. After the show was over, people were leaving, everybody saying goodbye forever. And as people were leaving, they were leaving behind all the stuff that had been put in the dressing room for them. You know, like a spread of, 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 of uh, cold cuts or fruit or various things to drink, you know, Diet Coke or Perrier, what have you. And so this ex-girlfriend of mine, this production assistant, she took as much Perrier as she could carry out of these dressing rooms. I mean, in essence, stole it because it didn't belong to her. She took it, brought it home, and put it in the fridge. And Perrier's not cheap. It's a lot cheaper to buy club soda or drink water out of the faucet, but she had this opportunity to get six packs of Perrier. Several of them. She even had me carry a couple of them. Don't worry about it. They're not going to say anything. Are you kidding? That was for the guests, and the guests have left. Just take it. So here I am walking out of the building at Rockefeller Plaza, 30 Rock, carrying Perrier. <laughs> and we rode the subway home to her place in New York. So there is her refrigerator. She stocks it full of Perrier. And one day, when she was out of the house, I reached into the fridge and took a Perry and drank it. And when she came back, she looked in the refrigerator and she says, did you drink a Perry? I said, yes. She said, that's 32 cents. She came up with a price. That's 32 cents. And she wanted me to pay. Now, I don't know how she came up with the price, 32 cents. I don't know if a six-pack was a dollar ninety-two at a nearby store. I don't know what the... By the way, that's pretty cheap for Perrier. But she decided that was the price, and she wanted me to pay. And she wasn't kidding. When I say chicks are the cheapest creatures on earth, trust me, it's from personal experience. By the way, this was something she stole from work. She didn't pay one penny for it. Now she wants to sell me. <laughs> she wanted to sell me bottles of Perrier out of her own refrigerator. Bottles I helped her carry home. When she was done stealing from NBC, she has me carrying Perrier on the subway back to her place. It's just outrageous. Why is it we have to pay chicks to go away when we're done with them? Why is it they expect money? 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Bobby, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Father, how are you? Doing great, son. Great. I don't want to tell you my story here. I got divorced after I got served my uh, divorce papers from the sheriff's department and a false restraining order. I got booted out of my house in 15 minutes. 
So I had to collect my 15 minutes worth of life to get out of the house. After nine months going by of uh, two more false restraining orders, paying the court, cost me. My attorney came up with uh, pay her the full sum of the alimony up front and add about five more thousand dollars on top of that to get her out of the house. She wouldn't leave unless I gave her five more thousand dollars to get out of the house. How did she? Wait, 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 wait. How did she get in the house again? Well, she she filed for divorce and also got a false restraining order against me to get me kicked out of the house. But but wait a minute. Now she's gone six months. How did she get more money? I'm still not clear on that. Well, I paid her the full sum of alimony up front, and also she wanted for for me to coerce her to get out of the house so I get back into my my house that I paid for that she didn't put a dime into. I, I had to pay more money up front to, for her to go get Ugh. an apartment, to go get furniture, to get settled, to get. Everything, to get on her feet because she had nothing. So, yeah, you know, money uh, that uh, women always want that they don't deserve because, uh, you know, she didn't work. I don't feel that she deserved it at all. But I will tell you one thing, better than a prenuptial, that we have never ta- you've never talked about on your, uh, your show, and, of course, you'd want to get with an attorney before, you know, you uh, do this. It's called an interspousal transfer paperwork when you buy a house. If your wife doesn't put down any money on a house with you, have her sign that piece of paper. Better than a prenuptial. That's what I did. She got absolutely nothing out of the home. Yeah, and in some states you sign something called a quit claim deed. Same thing. Yep. She right. was uh, when we went to court. She was shocked, and uh, I was the biggest, you know what, on the world that I had her supposedly signed that when I didn't have to twist her arm and she signed it on her own contract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had quick claim deeds, and uh, guess what? I've never had to leave my own house, never had to sell a house. Never. Yeah, her her family thinks I'm the, the devil, and that was the worst thing to do, but for uh, eight years of me being married, and after the third month, she wanted a divorce, and stupid me, Tom, I stayed because I, my, I got her pregnant after we got married, and... Oh. Uh, I stayed to try to be to do the right thing and be the good man. And uh, let me tell you, I, I, I listened to you before I got married, and the advice you give out is worth every penny I could have saved. After about thirty thousand dollars in attorney fees and the harassment I still go through today with her, it would have saved me so much money. The boys need to listen out there. No doubt about it, Bobby. Thank you so much for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. My question for you, doesn't it seem like when women go, we have to pay them, whether it's divorce or prostitution, you have to give women money to leave. Right? Tom. Like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. So for you, you only get from woman you sex, and that's it. Yes, because that's what women are good for. Oh, oh my God. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's Tom Likas. Standing here yelling at you. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We began this hour with an email from a listener named Dwayne, who points out that uh, whether it's a prostitute or divorce or an ex-girlfriend, when you're done with a woman, you have to pay her to leave. Why? This is Carolyn on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, I'll be the first to admit Women, we are treacherous. We are evil. We're conniving. We are calculating. And we know what we want, and we know how to get it. But, so, I mean, I can understand why all these guys, you know, crying about it. But, I mean, they're the ones that let us in to their homes and let us into their lives in the first place. If a guy says that all women are good for is sex... That's all he will use us for. And you would think, you know, they would just fork over the bare minimum to keep us coming. And if you know how to do it, the bare minimum really isn't a lot. And But they're the ones that pay for everything. They let us tell them, oh, I want this, I want that. And they give in. 
and they give in and they give in. Then they're letting us move in. Then they're letting us you know, into their lives, and they let us take over, and then they want to cry when they want out, but they're tangled so deeply into our evil little webs that it's it's more than just a, all right, see you later, to get rid of us. Now, are, are you like that? No. No, see, I know we're like that because I watched my, growing up, I watched my mom make all of her relationships about money and and I, I actually, I choose not to go that way. I don't, I don't live with any of the guys I see. I really don't even keep them around long enough to, you know, get that involved because I don't want that right now. I'm only 23. But, um, you know, I'll be, I will be the first to admit because if I want something out of a guy, I can get it. But I just, I don't know. I don't really like to live that way. I don't like to be known as a, treacherous and conniving and i'd rather be some girl that a guy can you know be he, not stay with forever but he can say like you know i had that was one of the good ones but i i can definitely see you know i can definitely agree with these guys but at the same time you know if if they weren't so you know bendable we wouldn't bend them well this is what I tell the guys all the time, and now you're telling from the female point of view. Stop letting uh, women move in. Stop agreeing to buy women things when they... Oh, please! Oh, of course, of please. course. Please! It's Hello Kitty, please! Really, if you want a girl to stick around and you don't want her, in, you know, and you don't want her entangled into every little web of your life, you're going to be a jerk. You're going to be distant. You're going to be, you know, okay, yeah, you can come over tonight. And then you won't call her for a while because that makes us crazy. And that makes us call back and call back. And that makes us stick with you. you which is what I tell guys, which is what I tell guys time. all the time. That's what I tell guys all the time. <laughs> I don't know why they don't get it. I mean, you know, if there's a, the, you know, meat-eating, flannel-wearing, chest-thumping crow magnons they all claim to be, you know, they wouldn't have so many of these problems. They wouldn't be so entangled with these women. They, you know, they just can't admit, yeah, they made a mistake. They fell in love or they fell for a woman. But, I mean, it's almost just as much their fault as the woman's fault. No, I, I uh, I well, and that, look, in that sense, I don't disagree with you. I, I think men are idiots for giving in to women when they demand things. Uh, I certainly have done everything I can to avoid it. Although when I've had women living in my house who won't get out, that's what I think to myself. Why would I want a woman living with me? And the result is the past several years, no woman has lived with me. And they're the happiest years of my adult life. The happiest. I'll tell you what. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Jason. On the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing, man? I'm doing okay. Excellent. It's my first time talking to you, man. And uh, i got to admit, when I first uh, started listening back in the day, I thought, well, because I was raised by my mom, and uh, I thought, wow, this guy really uh, has his head up his something or another. But uh, you know what? Over time, as I've grown older and gone through a lot of crap, I realized how on the ball you are. I know you get that a lot anyhow, but I just want to reaffirm that once again. But my situation is such that uh past six six years or so i've been taking care of my mom she passed away a little over a year ago my head was you know kind of in a fog and whatnot but uh as it turns out i have been dating a girl on and off for i know what you're going to say but on and off for about 12 years and uh it's been all right and this last time we moved in together and are still living together it was kind of one of those matters of convenience and we both knew that going in but as women do they turn around and put the claws back in and you know, and then all of a sudden you're not going out as much and if you want to they bitch and moan. But uh I'm in a situation right now where I already kinda knew but she spelled it out uh during a couple of arguments and told me basically, um, give me the effing money and I'll move out, basically meaning the deposit she put down for this pad. And uh and I realized after that, um it is it's it's not only that, you know, uh, I have I have felines in my house and uh and uh, occasionally she'll help out with a couple bills here and there. But see, in her mind, it all accumulates. In my mind, there's no list of anything. We do it together. We're living together, whatever the case. 
Um, so I could see, you know, it, it's really bizarre, and that is my only option at this point. I mean, people have told me to do what you say and turn off the utilities and all that good stuff. Uh, the problem is my landlord pays them, so that's not really an issue. Um, but I, Yeah, yeah I but you have me. a telephone. Your landlord doesn't pay for that. True enough. Are you saying you have you have what about in, yeah what about internet? Uh, uh, you know what? Actually, I don't really use my internet too much. I could turn it off. I mean, but no, like that, then use... all the more reason to turn it. Does she use? <laughs> Um, yeah, and you know what? You're gonna what? you're gonna laugh, but uh, yeah, I, I got one of the it's not called a splitter, but whatever. What what is that thing you get? And uh, she can use my internet. I forget a router, a router. Yeah, uh -huh. and ever since I got that, now my computer crashes, so that makes me even more pissed off. And uh, so I'm not trying to play the helpless guy here. I'm, I'm, you know, I do have choices, of course, as a man, and uh, as you know, I'm 35 years old, so I'm right on the cusp of uh, uh, people listening to you. But uh, keep in mind, you know, like I said, I've been raised by my mom. I'm a little oversensitive at times, and you know, um, and that that tends to cloud my judgment too. But I mean, basically, that is what I'm going to have to do. And I think after all that, I thought, well, I mean, we could still be friends. And you know what? That's BS, too, man. And and I really want to thank you uh, a lot because, uh, as I mentioned before, I, I love what you – I really listen intently now. And I look at women so different now and almost – with loathing, um, not, no fear and loathing, just the loathing part of it, and and I find that you know even when it, after all this is said and done, and I'm living alone and finally loving life again, um, it'll be a long time before I even approach or even get into all that nonsense. You know, the talking. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? Who cares, man? Let's yeah. just get to it. You know, that's right. Yeah, and you know, and and that's how I see it, and I appreciate all your help in in that vein, and and. Uh, um, you know, I just give me your blessing if you would, and uh, and and I just know everything's going to be cool, and I thank you for that. But uh, this is a good topic, though, man, because it's uh, I'm going to get off pretty damn easy because I have no kids, no no marriages, I, none of that has ever happened in my life, never will, and uh, so I'm going to get off easy on this part. But I'm just kind of trying to warn the guys out there as a lot of callers. Yeah, but do, let that. me tell you, you haven't exercised all of your options. Turn off your internet. Turn okay. off your. Do you have cable TV? No, sir. How about satellite? No, sir. So where do you get TV from? Oh, I just watch TV, man, I, and I rarely watch it because it's... You, what, you use an antenna? Yeah, yeah. You're one of those guys who has to buy that, uh, yeah. get that box in 2009? Yeah, I have my coupons ready. I am that douchebag. Holy cow. I mean, and, I, I've just been out of the loop. Like I said, man, I've been taking care of my mom for so long, and it seems like, a, uh, you know, a lot of years have passed, and I, I just was out of the loop for a long time. I feel old now. By the way, when is your lease up? Oh, it's month. It's month to month, man. Oh, dude, what are you doing? What do you I don't do? have to. What you do you don't mean? just move. Oh, me? Well, okay. Here's the clincher, man. And please don't laugh because I'm 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 an animal guy, and you know, and I'm I'm not gay oh, by any means. No. Not that animal oh, guys are, but no. I have seven cats. Oh, come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can't find an apartment. Uh, the place, the place I'm at, is totally, totally perfect for where I'm at, and I found the, the place. It's just we're both on the yeah, lease, but, so, but that that means you'll end up having to pay her to get out. That's right, man. That's why I'm calling you. But I'm so telling you, just turn off whatever utilities you're paying for. Okay. And okay. then just sit and wait for the reaction. Yeah, <laughs> I just yeah, you know what? I mean, yeah, you're right. I just got to stand up and get some balls again. I'm not, I'm not good with. Is she paying anymore. the rent? Is she paying half the rent? Yeah, we got half and half going on. But I could afford the whole thing. I figured it out a long time ago. And what yeah. about other stuff? Groceries? Who pays? Uh, it's half and half, and that sucks too. You know what, Tom? Because you're not buying the stuff you want when it goes half and half. It, you know, a lot of the time it's her giving you a list or something. Tellers nonsense. starting immediately. You'll buy yeah. your own groceries, and she will buy hers. Right on. That makes perfect sense. That makes and is there anything sense. else the two of you buy together? Heck no. No, it, it's dwindled way down. It, it's gotten to the point. It's one of those things where you know someone so well and you haven't gotten married. Who makes and, her car payments? Oh, my car's paid off. I'm okay. How about hers? Uh, her car's paid off too. So Okay. And who pays the car insurance? Uh, separate, you know, her and me, you know. So you don't pay? The heck no, I pay my own. So you don't pay for anything? Pretty much, huh? So it should you, be pretty damn easy. Well, uh, put it this way. You're paying for the Internet, right? Yeah. Not anymore. Right on. Right on. That's an expense I can get rid of anyhow. I, I, I have the Internet at work, you know? That's yeah. half my job anyways is doing Internet research. So I mean, The thing is, don't make it comfortable for her to stay there. Okay. 
and, and, and conversation wise, just keep it at a minimum, like I've been doing. Like, hey, how are you? Great. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what happens basically. What do you and, have? Do you, uh, by the way, a guy with seven cats. I'll bet you've got a female friend. Uh, how so? How so? Like, uh, like a platonic female friend. Something oh, yeah. I don't recommend. Well, uh, does she know all your platonic female friends? Um, uh, only, I only have a couple, so uh, never met them, but knows about them. All right, well, why don't you bring one of them home into your room and close the door? <laughs> Holy f! Yeah. All right, I, well, okay, all right. And, and you're basically saying just just face the repercussion. Don't be don't be uh, don't be a pussy about it, right? Right. But, okay, okay. I mean, I, I know it's, it's pretty much uh, common common sense what you tell me, but in the same respect, you know. Uh, and I do have a dad, of course, and I love him, and he, he steers me the right direction. But uh, you know, like I said, I respect what you're saying too, and uh, and I could tell you're happy, man. I, I uh, oh, yeah. and you know, you, your money doesn't hurt at all. You know, I'm a, I'm a normal Joe, but I could tell you're happy, and it makes me uh, want to strive for more. So that's why I'm calling, basically, you know. And I appreciate it, Tom. All right, Jason. Good luck to you. Thank you very much for the call. Wow. <laughs> These stories I hear, unbelievable. You have to pay them to get out. I just believe in turning off the utilities. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Our show streams live from 3 to 8 p.m. Pacific time. Click on the Listen Live button at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.